Hello everyone, I'm Muhammad Aqib, PhD scholar uh, from Department of English, Jamia Millia Islamia. Uh, as you are aware that we are doing this uh, series of interviews with some of the citizen scholars who have made uh, significant uh, contributions in making poetry available online recently. So uh, in that series today we have with us uh, Anchal Singhal, who has been running uh, this wonderful group, Delhi Shairi Club, for uh, for a long time now. Anchal uh, hails from Muzaffarnagar, but she has been in Delhi for for for, more, for around two decades now, and she also has uh, uh, fifteen years of experience in public relations industry. And uh, uh, while while doing while continuing with her day job and other things, she has been doing this uh, uh, this this uh, you know this various range of activities for poetry, arranging uh, many offline events and also uh, uh, managing these uh, uh, groups, uh, you know, one on Facebook as Delhi Shahidi Club and also on uh, WhatsApp. So uh, today Achal is here with us and uh, we talk about how Delhi Shahidi Club functions. Uh, welcome Achal. So uh, let's let's uh, begin with, uh, with how Delhi Shahidi Club, you know, uh, came into being what made you think of this you know starting this this group and how and what has been the you know what have been the main points of its journey until now sure uh, i think before one talks of any club or a group it's more to do with uh, how the interest uh, stemmed and you know how it germinated and took this shape so uh, the two things you summed up in the background one is uh, that, you know, my hometown is Muzaffarnagar, uh, being from a small town wherein the other activities, so to say, which are available to the students today, uh, you know, the number of um, avenues open to someone who's studying in Delhi or a Bangalore or a Mumbai differs vastly uh, from a person from Muzaffarnagar. And um, there, if you look at, uh, you know, the belt of Western UP, wherein there's, uh, you know, Kerana, Gharana, or a lot of singers, uh, you know, stemmed from there. So there has been an innate love for, uh, if not, uh, you know, I'm not talking of the divisive uh, regime that there is. Unfortunately, the town is very popular because of that. But um, uh, my uh, parents always supported a lot of Ghazal singers and, um, uh, you know, back in the day, in our pre-teens, we listened to uh, Farida Khanum or, you know, Abida Parveen and wouldn't follow half the lyrics. There was absolutely zero connection to anything called Urdu. Um, and, uh, but it was really interesting because he started something called Prayas. And um, uh, I mean, it was an NGO and uh, we would have rehearsals going on in our drawing room. So there would be, you know, on the tag, always a harmonium and a tabla. And uh, my sister was doing uh, Prabhakar, I believe it's called. It's a three-year course in music. So uh, one, it's the familiarization from very early on uh, that egged me to do this. Second is uh, that, uh, you know, uh, having been quite a culprit in the, when it comes to academics and math and eco and uh, everything, which was, it seemed very heavy duty. I was somehow very driven when it came to literature. And it was both uh, Hindi and English literature. Um, and that's what uh, I wanted to pursue, uh, you know, graduation and everything in. So I came to Delhi. Um, I, uh, you know, pursued English honors from Miranda. And um, uh, somehow, you know, the, the kind of institute it is, it is never about only the number of books. It's always about a lot of extra, uh, you know, curricular activities. It's about connecting people and, uh, uh, you know, making one's voice heard, really. The voice has some meaning and, it, uh, and you know, it makes you into a very well-crafted individual. Uh, I mean, often it's quoted as opinionated, but there are very many facets of it. And uh, I have been lucky in the sense that I met some wonderful women who are, uh, you know, till date uh, doing wonderful work in the field of literature as well. So that happened. Uh, so Miranda was, um, uh, you know, two decades back, almost uh, 17, 18 years back. And uh, after that, I couldn't pursue literature in the sense uh, post-grad, like I couldn't do MA, MPhil, etc. I had to uh, make do with, uh, you know, living in uh, Delhi, Gurgaon. And as you would know, you know, people from Mumbai would tell you or Delhi, you know, it's not easy. I mean, you know, your living expenditure, etc. I wanted to um, be independent and, uh, uh, you know, though, though uh, I, I did want to not take money from anyone else and, uh, you know, bear the expenses myself. So I did take to the corporate world very early on. 
and uh, uh, I did a postgrad diploma in mass communication and uh, went on to uh, work. Now, having said that, it would tear me apart to think, uh, you know, that literature se aap, aapka jase rishta toot jayega. So aap, uh, how would I even survive? Because uh, I found it really stifling that one was doing, uh, you know, just work. I mean, ghar se bahar niklo, office jao, wapas ao. Uh, you know, hard times of Charles Dickens starts like that. It says the same people get up at the same time to go on the same road to, you know, to reach the same building. It's the monotony and the everydayness of life that would get to me, absolutely. So um, I kept on pontificating on this, that, you know, what do I do? Um, I need to stay connected. So I started joining and formulating groups wherein I was bringing people together for the love of something. So it could be photography, you know, we would go to the monuments of Delhi and you know how rich Delhi is. I mean, I, I find it very baffling that we don't celebrate it enough. We have uh, monuments, we have mandis, which are vibrant, colorful, uh, rich with the cultural tapestry, and we don't do justice to it. You know, look at a London, look at New York, the way they celebrate their poets, their artists, their statues, their roads named after them, their boards, etc. And here I think we're lacking. Uh, I'm happy that more work is being, uh, you know, done towards it. I've heard of recent measures that uh, I think Delhi Tourism and a uh, couple of other bodies have taken. Coming back to the club, uh, I wanted to do two things. One, to not bring, uh, to not basically break my link or bond with anything to do with cultural activities and literature. That was one. But that would be a very uh, self-centered thing to just talk about what I wanted. It was also to do with what uh, I think people around me wanted, which was, Har koi, uh, you know, office se, uh, sirf Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday karke, then uh, it was only about couples would go out to eat, you know, go eat out, come back. Like, what were you really doing on the weekend? You have a lot of hours to yourself. So I thought of, um, you know, organizing activities in the likes of IHCs or epicenters and all. So, and uh, unfortunately, even these uh, centers, like for say, I, I stay in Gurgaon. There are not very many options one has epicenter is closed down and so I felt that why not have something which has 30 to 50 packs small meetups small gatherings very informal it's not like a huge stage and you know you're calling people from abroad or a huge AV system and not very simple wherein you really get to uh, you know you get a avenue for expression if you're writing well or you get to connect and learn through the exchange of ideas and poetry so that's when uh, we started doing something called back in the day called slam poetry or poetry slams. And then uh, it was, uh, it came up in my conversation with a couple of friends that, uh, you know, why don't you have like a club? Because it's not just about a flash in the pan. Ke aaj Friday evening, chalo bhai, you know, kuch evening mein kuch karne ko hai, sab log milke bed jate hai. It has to have meaning and sustainability. Now a club helps in wonderful ways. One is that, Akib may be sitting in Bareilly or, you know, uh, someone is sitting in Muradabad, someone is sitting in Doha and I am getting letters from Islamabad and it's wonderful. It's so enriching and that's why it's a club because uh, you can reach out. You can even vent. I mean, there are people who are venting out and saying, you don't approve the post or things like that. But it's, it's very enabling. It's very enriching for both parties. I uh, am someone who has had the good fortune to be involved uh, in one literary activities and second is with so many people i made good, good friends that really like family now great great so so uh, did this thing right uh, you know you, you you mentioned that you you wanted uh, to start something uh, like a club which would you know take uh, uh, people or you know away from the monotony of of their work uh, you know and and give them a chance to bond over something you know in a in a more uh, social or you know friendly manner so uh, did you think or and you also mentioned your uh, your link with poetry so was it uh, just uh, your connection with poetry that you started that uh, this club had to do uh, you know something with poetry or did you also notice something you know outside uh, you know in, in in other friends that they would be that poetry would be a, a likely thing that they bond over so, so was it your, your, just your, you know, inclination towards poetry or was there something of a spark in them as well? No, definitely the latter, of course. And I did say that, you know, it would be too much of a narcissist regime if I was only talking about what was on my mind or what I wanted to do or achieve. 
so let's talk about this spark uh, that people have and let's also talk about the inhibitions. So one is that, um, you know, when you're part of a great institute, like you've been, you know, you have had exchanges with, with people in Jamia with, uh, you know, when you're pursuing English literature, uh, whether it's for masters or, you know, uh, you have, you come across people who are presenting papers and, uh, you know, who are, uh, well, uh, you know, whether it's for academic per se or whether overall for their, you know, own, again, emancipation. So in my uh, case, uh, that ends with school and college. You know, again, going back to uh, why a lot of us coming from small towns end up being in jobs. And jobs, uh, how to put it uh, in a condescending, like, uh, in a clandestine way, they suck the life out of you. <laughs> that was if a slave, pride and slave, yeah. <laughs> I was like, let's just um you know I, I think i have been very vocal about it at my workplaces as well that's why i would have no gumption or i i'm not hesitating in you know calling spade a spade here on a public platform even if my uh, cxo level people were to watch it i did tell them that it's very important to marry uh, the nine to five they call it but it's really nine to nine or whatever that is the work hours and uh, it's very important to marry that with uh, your personal pursuit you know someone is into cricket is going out on the weekend playing cricket you know, and somehow it ends some somewhere uh, you know your late 20s early 30s mid 30s it ends because you're so busy with the rigmarole of things so coming back to the spark that individuals have um, you know there could be people sitting in a khatoli in my belt, a Western UP, or a Bareilly, or a Muradabad, etc. And they feel, Are, uh, Delhi, Mumbai, there will be a big program, I don't know if we get opportunity, mile ke uh, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you just, I feel everyone, whether it's a girl sitting in a small town, or a man who's in his mid-40s, and you know, is now feeling jaded with life, or you know, just with the daily rigmarole of things, I think one, everyone should get an opportunity. How do you, uh, make something which is one language agnostic. So, uh, you know, you could be into uh, Shiv Batalvi's poetry and, you know, you could want, you would want to quote something which is Punjabi folk uh, or a song you heard and you love the lyrics. So, so it's really varied. I, I love diversity and I'm a very inclusive person. For me, it's really not the geographical bounds or any community or, or anything. Uh, so uh, one was that, that the spark in individuals and how do you uh, not capitalize on it, but how do you give it an avenue? And uh, the other thing is how to let go of inhibitions. Now, uh, you know, if I ask you to like uh, break into a dance routine, you'll be like, um, you know, you'll hesitate so much to just do two steps. It takes nothing, really. I mean, you just have to be alive in the moment. But kya hota hai ki hum, uh, you know, is ki repressive regime mein aajate hai, kyunki humare upar itne daitu hote hai, responsibilities hoti hai. We have to uh, be achievers in the field. Office mein hume boardroom mein presentation achhi karni hai, uh, ghar ke sab expenditure samalne hai, so on and so forth, you know, relationships and so many other things. So it's important that हमारा जो भी आउटलेट है अगर किसी के लिए वो लिटरेचर है अगर वो ऑथर है अच्छा लिखता है स्टोरी इस लिखते हैं शॉर्ट फिल्म्स एनीथिंग एनीथिंग एनी फॉर्म ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन उसके पास एवेन्यू जरूर होने चाहिए एंड व्हाट आई कीप सेइंग आई थिंक आई एम एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ रेपिटेशन इट एनरिचेस बोथ द पार्टीज द वंस हु ऑर्गेनाइज एंड द वंस हु आर द ऑडियंस आई विल कम टू द नेगेटिव पार्ट ऑफ इट आल्सो लेटर बट या इट इज इट इज लार्जली वेरी एनरिचिंग या ग्रेट 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 Yeah. So, uh, so Anshul, you you uh, talked about how how you thought that you know poetry would be would be a good thing that around which this this uh, uh, guru could be could be built. So, so let's now uh, discuss how uh, you know you thought of uh, taking it uh, you know online because you had been uh, holding events you know uh, in also your uh, office spaces and also at, you know at other places in Delhi and uh, in Gurgaon as well, right? So. Uh, so how, how how did the online journey start and uh, you know today your uh, uh, both uh, daily shairi club also you know posts uh, on the group right, regularly and also the users post so so uh, my my question is uh, is about this how do you uh, you know select the content because everybody there are around 13000 members uh, you know as one can see in uh, on the in the facebook group so a lot of people would be posting stuff so how do you select your uh, content as well as how do you select their content right 
and uh, and what uh, language or languages are entertained you know in uh, uh, dsc uh, delhi shairi club um, so uh, they led uh, i'll address the former part first hmm. uh, so uh, in terms of selection of content it is uh, uh you know one it has to be like a lot of themes uh we do things around significant days uh important pillars in poetry names which are really celebrated their birth anniversaries death anniversaries how it also helps in a uh, you know apart from just quoting their verses couplets etc is uh, how their lives have been uh, an important part of it is captured through documentaries and a lot of times other people have anecdotes which are uh, it's really interesting uh, you mm -hmm. know to come across those uh, someone says but i heard this fact about you know a jigar muradabadi who's uh, you know anniversary is now in uh, on 6th april so things like that so you learn Uh, you know through each other a lot mm, uh, going back to what the events on ground meant and uh, you know how one took them online and how one progressed in the post pandemic world oh my god uh, we we all uh, you know went uh, live and uh, spoke of uh, am i visible to you am i audible to you etc there was this spree of memes etc uh, so one nothing captures the romance of an uh, on ground event as an in person meeting Uh, you know, over chai when you sit with friends or before an event, up, thoda side pe jaake jab you know you're just catching up after long. There is nothing, no Zoom, no uh, MS Teams or anything would do justice to a in-person meeting, है ना? So, उसका कोई बदल नहीं है, वो ठीक है. Pandemic में हमें उसके अलावा बहुत सारी you know कुछ advantages ये रही that um, जैसे पड़ोसी मुल्क से हमारे लॉर्ड ऑफ रिनाउन नेम्स यू नो हु अदरवाइज आई कांट आई आई वुड बी रियली इंटिमिडेटेड टू से दैट यू नो रहमान फारिस साहब या सो मेनी अदर पर्सनालिटीज हु जॉइंड अस उमेर नजमी साहब आई वुड Really hesitate that you know I'm not doing an event of that stature that I can call them, mm -hmm. but uh, and they are wonderful people. They are bureaucrats. Some of them are doing so well in very different fields, but they were so forthcoming and uh, you know they were there with us. We have seen online today. We did a beautiful live with them, uh, and uh, so things like that. So one is. how do you build engagement when uh, you do online um, you know sessions or you do live facebook live etc um, it takes a lot of work it may seem really easy but um, uh, you know uh, i mean if i was to do it without a prior announcement or without <clears throat> packaging it well i won't get much response if i was to say uh, you know right now it's about 5 let's do it at 5:30 i won't you know uh, so uh people have to have to have that element of uh, oh my god i'm going to use a millennial term fomo that uh, you know i have to attend this uh, i should have attended this uh, so that fear of missing out element so that we created so we had um, you know a little um, uh, say a teaser so in marketing we learn this i'm using a bit of uh, you know my pr jargon of mass communication so basically you do a pre event at the time of the event and you do a post event that's how any event gets formulated so uh, pre event they there could be a little teaser saying you know i'm coming uh, to see you guys and so and so they, you know hum kuch bahut achhi si nazm padhenge of you know so all all of that we did uh, mm -hmm. with a lot of young poets uh, during the pandemic it kept it kept us alive mm -hmm. i would really like to say this i i think i need to add here even if it was not part of your question akib that uh, art is essential uh how much uh, this statement held meaning for me was the pandemic i don't think i would have sailed through i think so many of us who uh, you know put up without families here in delhi gurgaon would not have uh yeah. you know we come from small towns parents are there one you're worried about you know how they are doing what they are doing and uh, we're not with them so there's this guilt is also you know with you throughout and uh, had it not been for great cinema you know a lot of us took to ott and had it not been for groups and uh, obviously rekta um, all of us would go to at different junctures of our lives uh, whether we were you know learning through their twitter or you know quoting <clears throat> what was posted on rekta etc we all uh, at some of the other stages did come across or did uh, you know learn from there definitely so online events yes we did uh, pandemic obviously helped in 
digitization in a huge way uh, whether it was corporates whether it was people like me who didn't uh, you know who would have to really check their camera and or like twice thrice do a mock up uh, you know so not all of us are that it savvy so i think all of us learned the ropes and uh, managed we sailed through did a good job of it as well i i may like to add that uh, coming back to how do you censor or how do you uh, decipher what's uh, good to be posted what's not to be uh, what is to be declined what is to be accepted um, is a lot to do with a certain pattern as well mm -hmm. uh, you know when we uh, select people uh, i mean there is a uh, you know small not not like a rule book uh, but a criteria uh, how do you accept uh, a lot of them have heard uh, you know the shires who are mostly reciting or whose work is being posted and a lot of new ones we we test it out by reading their couplets and uh, uh, and so anyone can post but obviously you know certain boundaries a certain you know line of civility has to be there uh, it doesn't have to be politically charged does not have to uh, you know uh, uh, so, I mean, those things, I, I think uh, it's really run on the mill, you know, you, you really learn it on the go. It's, it's difficult to put it in theory. You, you read a couplet and you know uh, where it's, uh, you know, kind of out of line. Uh, so I think over a period, period, people understand that, respect that. And they don't, uh, they're not arguing about it and all. Also, uh, without any selfish motive, any sinister motive, without, uh, you know, any thought of revenue or what is it giving me. pure love or shiddat ke saath ki jati hai na, it shows. I think it shines. There is something about, uh, you know, like um, the simplicity of it, the niceness of it. Uh, so we are doing it just out of passion. And I think that shows. That's why... I have, uh, you know, my inbox is filled with these beautiful messages from people who would invite me over when it's Eid. Uh, you would say, Ke, humne hai hai, aap please hamare ghar hai, and all that. And it's beautiful, you know, from families and all. So I think I've gained a lot through this. I mean, in calories and otherwise, yeah. So I think um, I, I, I stand better. I stand enlightened. I think it, it wouldn't be far-fetched to say I'm a better person because of it. Great, great. Great. So that that that's uh, great to hear, uh, Anshul. And uh, so so you have you uh, you just were just mentioning you know the kind of response uh, that you uh, you know get from from uh, group members. So uh, do they also you know at times make requests for a certain kind of you know content? What what do they want to read on your uh, group or what kind of events uh, you know they they want? So do they also talk about uh, this sort of things? Yeah, I think uh, first and foremost is in their city. So a lot of times someone would say that, you know, Pele Chandigarh mein hota tha, ya Jaipur mein hota tha, there's not something, you know, it's been really long, where, uh, do you guys also organize an art? I think that's uh, but obvious that, you know, people ask uh, for it, etc. Uh, again, uh, during pandemic, obviously, that was uh, not to be. But um, I think, uh, you know, again, everything needs a revenue model or a sustainable model. Uh, I feel as such that, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it's changing. I, I see it changing. But a lot of times, when you're a singer or a painter or a, anything in performing arts, there are a lot of art, these related fields. It takes a lot of time to be able to prove yourself, uh, to be able to derive any revenue out of it, or even if you go down that road. Yeah, I was talking about, uh, you know, also certain parts where it gets challenging like running a group mm -hmm. is it better yeah yeah so um, you you were, you were mentioning always, the kind of you know you were, you were talking about the events uh they, they you also, would not do uh, online yeah, yeah sorry yeah, Please go ahead. i was actually sharing uh you you asked that uh do members also sometimes ask you know mm -hmm. um, do they want certain uh couplets or do they want like certain uh do mm -hmm. you know, yeah, yeah. do they want run the club a certain way or you know asks from yeah, them basically yeah, yeah. so it could be that when they say when they say when they say that they have a lot of time they have to organize something like this in Chandigarh and Chandigarh or Jaipur etc which I think is a fair ask hmm. um, having said that whether it's about organizing in one city or taking the you know tour uh, to multi-city etc kind of an arrangement um, see funds are difficult to come by um, and uh, largely it's a sponsored thing. Uh, it doesn't even have to be as lavish as a, you know, 30 to 50 lakh kind of a grand extravaganza. It can be, uh, you know, something small, like I said, that, you know, behind a, a monument as a foreground, you can do a 30 to 50 packs event likes of, 
a heritage walk and uh, you know sitting and discussing Ghalib or you're doing a uh, you know a singer or you know someone with a guitar doing a fresh contemporary rendition of uh, the ghazals etc along with poetry a lot can be done it just has to flow seamlessly with the, the lockdown opening etc we are hoping that uh, we'll be able to, you know, uh, have a packed calendar, uh, you know, onset of winter, which is September to Feb is a great time. Right now, obviously, we're all, uh, you know, getting scorched and evaporated. But yeah, uh, with due time, uh, we will be able to meet, uh, I wouldn't say the demands, but yeah, we would be uh, able to meet those of the members. Um, there are other things as well, like basically experimenting uh, with anything, because see you keep it alive and lively only when you experiment you know uh, that's the thing with packaging a simple cola bottle as well it has to be you know redesigned etc after a period of time so we uh, experimenting we experimented with tarhi uh, mushaira we did so basically um, uh, you know you can give out uh, a certain uh, you know behar you can give out zameen mein kehna hai purane kisi ghazal ka aap unko two lines share kar sakte hain aur aap unko aise ek trigger de diya yeah, but it's per, uh, you know, attempt mm -hmm. and it was wonderful. You know, we had uh, people from uh, all over, people who were not regular, people who thought, Are mein post karunga, to kya response they would they would be hesitating, you know, in our heads. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they say, you know, the real battle is not really on the uh, war field, the war front, it's really here, you know. So, so many of us are filled with so many of uh, things, roadblocks in our own head. So, un logo ne bhi attempt kiya and uh, then we had someone who we really cherish and celebrate and respect, like Bakulda, ya fir, uh, Abhishek Shukla Sahab, ya, unhone aakar fir unko padha, jin logo ne jin ki entries thi. So at one go, we got like about uh, 13 to 15 entries. And uh, uh, that was really wonderful because, you know, it was a easily a one hour, one and a half hour session sometimes. And uh, we would come back with uh, such beautiful work. Sometimes they said, hum, hum agar kuch bilkul from the scratch, you know, uh, original try karte, to kabhi bhi aata So it's something keepsakes, you know. So you learn. Uh, hum khudi experiment karke khudi seekhte hai ki achha, this works. And isme to bada maza aya, you know, like that. Great, great. So, so finally, this, this uh, you, you also talked about like you are, you are, there's, there's uh, no revenue as such that you are, you know, uh, working, uh, you know that that is there in your head when when you work for or when you are you know trying to uh, keep uh, Delhi Shairi Club afloat and when when you are uh, you know uh, working for its uh, further advancements. So uh, just just uh, towards the uh, uh, towards the end of this this discussion, I, I wanted to ask you uh, about uh, uh, what are the next things that uh, that you are uh, you know immediately have uh, on your mind and. Uh, uh, yeah, so so that's it, and and I think that that's that would be my last the last thing that I would want to ask. I think it's really important uh, the last bit because see, kisi uh, bhi arts, kisi bhi field ko promote karne ke a lot of stakeholders have to come together. Uh, see, I'm, I'm going to, you know, don the marketing hat here and speak like a very B two B Kurt kind of professional. Um, uh, ye jo non revenue and for passion and for the love of it, cheese hai ye. Uh, sakti hai, char saal sakti hai, but after a point, you know, uh, uska wo song song ho jayega. Iska reason hai ki angst or uh, wo hoti hai. sometimes you feel so many things are so thankless. I mean, what are you really, you know, getting at? Where is this going? Uh, you know, so har bar, har event ke liye, aapko double ya utni hi mehnat karni pati. Aap utni hi logo ko ping karoge. Acha, aap aayenge na, uh, aap ya ten zarur karna. Aapko bada acha lagega, aap aayiye. If it's a ticketed thing, nominal price rakha hai, please. If it was 200 bucks also and this happens with books a lot i have mm -hmm. uh, something really against people who would ask the author or the poet ke acha aap apni copy ek bhijwa dena you know even friends relatives even relatives uh aap aram se, you know you can spend on your dinner or your lunch or anything char friends milke uh, 800 bucks 1000 bucks 1500 bucks but to buy two three copies you'll be like you know, essay mil jai, complimentary mil jai, wo bej dega. So somehow I feel that uh, why not support each other, be each other's backbone, you know, join hands in uh, helping put something in the ecosystem. Reason is, wo unhi logo mein use ho hai. I mean, for lack of a better word, it's that kitty only. Uh, so, uh, you know, why should 
a poet be asked to perform without an honorarium? Why should a singer be asked that you come on the stage? It's going to be great exposure, great brand name. वहाँ पे आपने किया उसकी वीडियो होगी आपकी प्रमोट होगी. No, because he's spending on commute. It's his time. See, if he's spending half an hour, na, us half an hour ko banane me uske पिछले पांच साल गए. Absolutely, yeah. Many people don't understand so, that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I I do understand that. At the same time. a lot of times when you are not known you know you're not a muzaffar ali and a meera ali doing a you know jahane khusro at nizamuddin where all the families are already you know uh, acquainted with you uh, you know they know uh, your uh, you know uh, affinity to the bollywood uh, actress etc now coming back to uh, when you're a nobody it takes really uh, tenfold the effort and um, time energy everything Uh, to even make a ticket thing like a five hundred rupee thing or something sell. Having said that, with the right partners and with the faith and uh, with the trust of people, which comes after a long haul. Now it's been over three four years. Uh, it started uh, yeah around twenty uh, seventeen, and uh, yeah so it's been about four years. And uh, now I can safely say that. um the coming events will not just have like a venue complimentary or high tea complimentary sir wo nahi hoga and uh, even in the past events i always tried always tried to uh, give more than uh, you know um, what was dictated by the then regime ke uh, you know hum log sab saath mein baith jayenge enjoy karenge exposure hoga has to be more uh, you know with the power of uh, social media these are enablers you reach out to a wider audience and you sh- you should command a prize like the way a band does uh, you know a musical band does i think one should and uh, it should not be like why should we even hesitate to ask uh, and it should be both ways it's it's uh, again like a marriage that organizers have to understand that it has to be given artist has to understand that uh, you know why I, i don't have to have any inhibitions is asking for it so i think uh, uh, quickly if i may sum up in two lines one is uh delhi is beautiful it has uh, you know not just the celebrated uh, the red forts the qutub minars it has small tombs uh, gardens lavish you know greenery etc we can hold uh, get togethers with the permission of the local bodies the governing authorities and can do beautiful walks clubbed with uh, you know ghazal evening and poetry uh, and uh, the likes of you know alliance france you have iic you have ihc and all should uh you know all stakeholders should come together and uh, enrich this take it to like next level uh, why can't we have like you know the coke studio of urdu poetry or why can't we have these things like a jaipur lit fest uh, you know right in delhi why can't we do that it just i mean it's wonderful what jashni rekta did you know over so many years but it doesn't have to be one extravaganza which comes in mid december or a feb you know we can have like little little bits and sprouts which keep us alive really yeah so so this uh, you know while you were mentioning just these uh, you know all these kind of events there uh, it occurred to me that i should ask you this one last thing uh, uh, if you if you are willing to you know just give us uh, a couple of more minutes uh, how, how does you know how, how do you manage all of this work because you know there are all these groups that you have to take care of and you know, there are also events then those you know the even the you know, the material that you share on uh, on facebook uh, you know there has to be research you know uh that has to go into it you have to dig up that information then there has to be you know uh, you can you can't just engage the you know audience uh, uh, just on the basis of text it has to be you know attractive so there have to be graphics and and other things so how do you how do you manage all of this that's just a couple of lines about this and then uh, we are done so sure. so uh one is that uh, you know this field uh brings with it some wonderful people who i uh just there uh, you know without any motive any any so uh, i have had people sitting in meerut or muradabad or bareilly or lucknow who have helped me uh, i i don't write uh, urdu script i don't read urdu um, despite that uh, you know group group runs wonderfully there's never a day when uh, you know post is uh, we're sitting on something because i i have uh, you know a certain uh, capacity issue or a capability issue there never ever for lack of time or for lack of uh, you know interest or anything so there are people who would uh, be my co-co admins etc even on anonymous basis sometimes they help out 
uh, same is for with you know mass com students who help with design i've had uh, you know so wo kehte hain ek hath aage badhao and uh, you know four hands join you and that's when any journey anything becomes like a mission or you know the success you you arrive at a certain success only because people join you in that journey and they do it selflessly utterly selfless so that is one a wonderful thing second is that um, over a period of time people see they trust you for the work that you do aap kitna bhi bol lijiye jargon use kar lijiye uh you know the proof of the pudding and li- lies in eating it so they see that you know they've been uh, at it for really long uh and like i said you know agar aap puri dil aur shiddat se kuch kar rahe hain so you will it will bear fruit you know it may not right. bear fruit one season but the next season it will great good luck good luck achal and we really hope that uh, uh that the shyvik club you know continues to expand and add new new members yes maybe all new writers that. yeah So so thank you so much for for giving us your time and speaking to us thank you have a good day thank you